Graham Potter's Brighton and Hove Albion side are impressing yet again in the Premier League after making a strong start to the 2021-2022 season. The Seagulls are sitting comfortably in the top half after a handful of games, having performed at a high level thus far. Let's take a look at what makes Brighton such an intriguing team to watch. Brighton are a handy team in possession. They are dynamic and can play in a multitude of ways. Potter complements such dynamism with astute changes and tweaks to his side's system depending on game state or opposition. Let's analyse Brighton's structure when building up from the back first. Brighton often create a back three in build-up, with one of the wider defenders slotting into the back line, creating a 3-2 structure with the double pivot. The wing backs play with verticality, allowing Brighton to create a front five when in possession. Brighton's 3-2 structure is conducive of safe and effective possession in build-up. There are a plethora of options for all of the players involved in build-up. The wide centre-back, for example, can progress in the half-space, looking to carry the ball and play into the front line, or merely spraying longer passes. Brighton's centre-backs are also not afraid of sending longer passes into the channel, rather than building up with intricate passing. The variety Brighton possess in the build-up phase means opposition defences can rarely settle. They aren't comfortable sitting back as Brighton advance the ball well, but they are also wary of pressing in case Brighton look for options over the top. Against Watford, we saw the best of Brighton this season. Brighton simply dominated Watford all game. Given the solid foundations from the back, Brighton could establish comfortable possession. Brighton had overloads in deep positions, which baited opposition players to step out of Watford's block. Brighton could therefore open passing lanes into their front five and wreak havoc in the attacking third. Brighton suffocated Watford, dominating the ball in deep areas. When the time was right, Brighton sighed through Watford's defensive block with a combination of intricate and incisive passing. In the attacking third, Brighton were balanced, using wing-backs to maintain width as their wide forwards inverted into central areas, creating a temporary front five. Brighton's front five created lateral overloads over Watford's back four, allowing Brighton to create space and thus create chances. Out of possession, Brighton are conventional but mightily effective. They rarely concede big chances, as reflected by their expected goals conceded tally, which is the fifth best in the league. Brighton tend to defend in a 4-4-2 mid-block. They can set pressing traps and squeeze up the pitch, but are equally comfortable settling into a deeper block, letting the opposition have possession in their build-up phase. The 4-4-2 block allows Brighton to cover most key spaces, as they remain so compact and disciplined. When the ball is played into wider areas, the wing-backs tend to spring out of the block to press. Cucurella is particularly aggressive. When defending their box, Brighton are physically imposing and aerially dominant. They rarely allow opposition players to get high-quality shots off from locations close to their goal. Brighton's press has generated fair few chances this season, none the more notable than the goal created through Blissuma's pressure against Watford. Brighton are just as dynamic off the ball as they are on it. Brighton aren't the most prolific scorers in the Premier League, racking up only 7.4 expected goals in seven games thus far. It is for this reason that Neil Malpay's contributions as Brighton's lone striker is vital. None the more so because of Danny Welbeck's profligacy in front of goal and the fact that Leandro Trossard primarily shoots from low percentage areas. Malpay has been in scintillating form. He is a menace out of possession with his pressures, and he is not afraid to drag defenders deeper with runs in behind. A skill that perhaps goes under the radar is his ability to playmake. He links play well from central areas. He is not afraid to drop deep to receive under pressure. Malpay is supplied chances from across the team. Cucurella, a new addition at left wing back, is a prolific creator, and it'll be interesting to see how their relationship pans out, as Malpay is great at attacking crosses. At present, Brighton is somewhat reliant on Malpay to stay fit, as he is such a key player for them. 
To summarise, Brighton have been an impressive side this season. They are resolute yet versatile defensively and dynamic and innovative in possession. They have a plethora of methods to progress possession and create chances such as channel balls, crosses from rampaging wing backs, intricate passing or pressure to force turnovers in dangerous areas. Their reliance on Neil Malpay to score the goals is perhaps a worry, but otherwise they look worthy of a strong top half finish this season as their manager Graham Potter's stocks continue to soar. That brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe to Football Per 90 for more in-depth analysis like this. Until next time, goodbye.